Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, R&B singer uh, Tweet says she's given up on the Christian church. Now, uh, you remember Tweet. She was an artist of uh, Missy Elliott and Timberland, and she made that 2002 hit, Oops. Oh, there goes my shirt all over my feet. Oh, my, oh, my, ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. And, uh, but about 10 years ago, uh, Tweed converted to a born-again Christian, and she eventually dated Pastor Jamal Bryan. You know, he's one of the uh, mega church preachers, one of, and they say, quote, one of the most influential Christian voices in the black community. Yeah, but you know, he got in a lot of trouble with, uh, but anyway, uh, well, Tweet says that she's still a Christian, but she no longer believes in the church. Now, she went on a long, um, on social media where she explained her decision. Now, she said, I changed my lifestyle, but in that changing my lifestyle, Bishop Thomas Weeks, who is incredible, taught me integrity. You can live your life and still be holy. Amen. I agree with that. Now, you ain't going to be in no long skirt and barefaced and all that. You can live your life. Now, Tweet also met people who have shocked her when it comes to their actions versus what they preach, Tweet added. Now, when I talk to certain elders who be in my DMs, some of y'all pastors, I have to remind them who they are, and they'll be surprised that I'm celibate or no, I don't want to drink. I'm good. That's what broke my heart. Like, you should already know to do right. Why aren't you doing right? I'd rather just stay in the world. Mm. Now, Tweet48 then started evangelizing to her audience. Speak your truth, because I am. I'm not shutting up no more. I'm speaking my truth. What y'all want to know? I'm sick of it. Enough is enough. I'm tired. It's coming out in the music. It's coming out in interviews. It's coming out. I'm saying what I want to say. Now, she continued, I'm not shading nobody. I'm telling my truth, and church has been the worst. I will not do church anymore. I love God. I have a relationship with God, but you won't see me in nobody's church house. I'm not giving nobody my tithes. I'm not giving 10% to nobody, period. That, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> now, and she's, that's not all. She said, what y'all going to understand is my mom in 2006 or 2007, she transformed in front of my eyes. She literally gave her life to Christ, really wanted to be steadfast and do what she wanted to do for God. But to see your efforts kind of be spat on, you started to trust people because you think they're living what they're preaching or singing about. And to see a lot of people behind closed doors not be nothing, it was a cultural shock for me. Well, honey, say that. And I do understand, but I'm glad, and I, I, I'm glad Tweet is still being a Christian because, you know, some of the things that's going on in these churches and everybody are turning their head and, and doing this, and then you confide in folks, whatever. I, you know, and when they get disappointed, they turn on God. You know, they say, oh, I'm not, you know, and and I'm with Tweet. I understand, you know, because, you know, people are people. And, um, you know, people do. They put on masks on Sunday morning and then uh, Monday through Saturday, they do what they want to do, you know. But uh, that's people. And, I, you know, I, I don't think you have to go in the church house to be uh, a Christian, you know, because I tell you, so many people and, you know, it's not just started. It's, it's all in the revelation of even when the church got started, you know, even when the pastor used to come to the house to have different families to come to the house and eat up the chicken on Sunday <laughs> You know, on Sunday, 
uh, evening with that family, and uh, he had to get the best piece of chicken that he had to, you know, and all of that, and going to people's houses, and then coming up with outside children and all of that stuff. Hey, it's there. It's there. And you're going to have the same, uh, you know, it, it's just, this depends on the individual. Now, I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm I, glad she hadn't lost her faith in God. And, you know, I mean, you, you still can go to church, but, you know, I, I, I get where she's coming from. Now, I want to hear what y'all got to say about this. I mean, you know, I'm not um, telling anyone stop going to church. I mean, because hey, I can I can be in there with the the, the biggest devils and the and the uh, <laughs> you know and the valley of death, you know. But uh, it doesn't matter to me because I know I got God. But, you know, some people are not comfortable knowing what's going on and seeing people get up there in that pulpit and tell lies and, you know, hey, and, and you know, that's been going on, like I said. Um, but what do you think about this? What what would you tell Tweet? I mean, have you experienced any of this? And or do you know anyone who just, you know, saw this and just gave up on God saying that, hey, you know, these people ain't <laughs> ain't Christian. And, you know, let's 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 talk about this one. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in party, be blessed.